How can we define the transpose of a tensor? With matrices, this is easy. Just interchange rows and columns. But for tensors, we do not want to rely on the matrix representation. So what can we do? In this video, we will see that we can still define the transpose of a tensor. The definition looks a bit odd, but fortunately, we'll also see that we have all our normal computational rules. So we take a look at linear algebra to get an idea how to define the transpose of a tensor. So first we look at linear algebra. So here we have AB, which is some uh, vector, take the inner product with some A, and we get a scalar. So A inner product with AB is some scalar. So if I take the transpose, nothing happens. So that's what we do over here. Then I know that if I have an inner product between a vector A and another vector, that I can write this as a matrix product where I take the transpose of the first one times the other vector. That's what we do over here. So A inner product with something equals A transpose times something. And then we have this big uh, uh, product and then we have to take the transpose. How do we do that? We take the transpose of all parts separately and the opposite order. We know this from linear algebra. So we get a B transpose, an A transpose, and an A transpose transpose. Well, A transpose transpose is just A, so we get B transpose times A transpose times A, and then we can do the same trick. We can turn this into an inner product with B inner product A transpose times A. So uh, this calculation in linear algebra gives us a relation between A transpose and A, uh, like this. A inner product A times B is always equal to B inner product A transpose times A. And that's the idea we are going to use to define the transpose of a tensor. So what do we do? The transpose, T transpose of a tensor T is given as A inner product trans T times B equals B inner product T transpose times A for all factors A and B. This looks a bit odd, of course, but this completely uh, fixes the uh, uh, transpose of T. Uh, first of all, we can see that this T transpose is indeed a tensor due to the linearity of the inner product. So that's relatively straightforward. And a second consequence is if you take the matrix representation of uh, T, uh, then taking the uh, T transpose means T transpose uh, uh, of uh, Tij is just the Tgi. You have to interchange the indices, as we see over here. Now, let's see why that is, that is the case. Well, your Tij is by definition Ei inner product Tej. Now, from this rule over here, uh, setting A equals EI and B equals EJ, we get that this equals EJ inner product and then the T transpose times EI. And then we see, hey, but uh, that uh, gives us exactly, according to the definition, uh, TGI transpose. So uh, if you have a matrix representation, transpose of t is just a normal of what you would expect interchange rows and columns. Now the other consequence, you can try to sh uh, show that for yourself. If you have a product t as transpose, you just have to invert the order again and take transposes. And if you take a transpose twice, probably guess what's going to happen. Taking transpose twice, twice of a matrix gives you the matrix back. Taking the transpose twice of a tensor gives you the tensor t back. Uh, We'll show that um, why that this is the case. Uh, if we have a in a product s times b, uh, then we know from this rule over here with uh, capital T instead of s that this equals b in a product s transpose times a. Um, so if we now substitute for s t transpose on left and right, we get a in a product t transpose b and here equals b t transpose transpose times a. But we also know that a in a product t transpose b uh, equals b in a product t times a, according to the definition here. 
So if we combine those, we have B inner product T times A equals B inner product T transpose transpose A. So here and here. So that means that tensors T and the tensors T to tra transpose transpose are the same. So the definition of the transpose of a tensor looks a bit odd uh, because we do not want to rely on the uh, coordinates. Uh, however, all the normal rules hold. If you have the matrix uh, representation, you just interchange rows and columns. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, taking product means inverting order and taking transposes and taking transpose twice gives you the transpose, uh, gives you the origin regional tensor back. So the definition may look odd, but all our normal rules apply.